What's good, guys? Today is Friday, June the 23rd, 2023. This video and story is coming out of St. Louis County, Missouri, and it is a doozy. Woman chases down her sister's stolen car and shoots the people inside, the police say. A woman was charged with assault and multiple other crimes after police say she chased down her sister's stolen car and shot the two occupants inside that car after it crashed in Jennings. Francesca Jones, 32, was charged with three counts of assault, three counts of armed criminal action, and three counts of endangering the welfare of a child in the connection with this incident. Now, according to the press release from the St. Louis County Police Department, Francesca Jones saw her sister's 2020 Dodge Challenger on West Florissant Avenue near the intersection of Goodfellow Boulevard a day after that car was stolen. The St. Louis County Police Department said that Francesca Jones then chased after the car despite having three children in her very own car at the time. The police say she followed the car from West Florissant Avenue to Jennings Station Road, and then the car crashed into a truck at the intersection of Jennings Station Road and Fairhaven Drive, which was less than a mile away. Police said Francesca Jones later told them she was trying to ram that 2020 Challenger to get it to stop during the chase. After crashing into this truck, her sister's Challenger ran off the side of the road and caught fire. Doesn't end there, guys. Police said that Francesca Jones got out of her car, walked over to her sister's stolen Challenger, and shot the two people who were inside of that car. One of the people inside the car actually shot back at Francesca Jones. Now, Francesca Jones was taken into custody at the scene of the crash. Police say they found her gun in a purse in the trunk of her car. Police said two witnesses, there were two witnesses who saw this whole thing. Her bond was set at $750,000 cash only. Now, prosecutors did announce these charges uh, yesterday against 32-year-old Francesca Jones, um, who took it upon herself to chase down these men who stole her sister's 2020 Dodge Challenger. And she caused a serious traffic accident and endangered the children in her vehicle in the process. According to a police probable cause statement, Francesca Jones's sister had her 2020 Dodge Challenger stolen the day before. She saw that vehicle, Francesca, on West Florissant near Goodfellow Boulevard. Now, at the time, uh, like I said, Francesca Jones was driving in her own car with children riding with her. She still, uh, that didn't bother her. She still began giving pursuit to this stolen vehicle that belonged to her sister, uh, telling the police that she wanted to chase them off the road. And did this for about a mile and a half. Uh, the truck driver who ran into this 2020 Dodge Challenger, who was actually an innocent bystander, he actually sustained some serious injuries in this traffic accident. And um, luckily, uh, just luckily, there were no fatalities. Let's just say that. But three counts of assault, armed criminal action, endangering the welfare of a child, uh, that's pretty serious business. So I definitely wanted to cover this on the channel. And um, I just, <laughs> you know, I know that you want to stop people from stealing stuff, but this is taking it to the extreme. Like she should have just called the police and said, hey, uh, I'm following them. I see them. This is where they are. She just could, you know, she could have just reported it and stayed behind them. But she took it upon herself to continue pursuing it, which caused an accident. 
uh, involving this innocent truck driver and also three children who were inside of her vehicle. It's like she just blanked out, uh, was so enraged by seeing her sister's stolen vehicle that she just took off. So, um, I'm going to follow this case and see what happens. But so far, $750,000 cash, not property, cash, not 10%, cash. So I think Francesca Jones is going to be sitting there for a minute, but I'm going to continue to follow this case. Uh, thanks for watching and everybody have a great weekend.